This is Bucked Up Custom, where we take broken and rusted metal and turn them into rolling works of art. And with the best craftsmen in the league, let's make some bucked up rides. Bumped in. Show me the all damn day. Top of the morning to you, laddies. Welcome to Bucked Up Customs. I am your host, the Rental Man Buck. Jumping into our back lot, we have a multitude of projects for the boys to get their hands dirty with. But today's client had other things in mind. That idea being this 2018 Isuzu box truck being converted into a mini truck. Well, definitely not mini. It certainly is roomy. But most importantly, this thing's ready to get in the shop. Let's go overlook the project and see what we need to do. Bringing the Isuzu inside of the shop, the overview of this project is as simple as it gets. This truck is going to have the box taken off. We'll be chopping the frame, rerouting electrical, as well as any other major mechanical components. And we'll be installing a set of Alcoa wheels and a Ford Super Duty bed. Good thing my boy Daryl is a very talented craftsman. Kevin is currently working on this 1970 Z28 Camaro that has a 350 small block in it. This bad boy is going to be getting ready to head out in the next couple days. We're just getting started on a 94 F-150 restoration. And Corey, our office manager, is going to be dealing with all of our parts being shipped out, which, Corey, do we already have those badges that's going to be made for the bat on this? Are those already on order? Yes? Sweet. Thanks, bud. Let me and keep me updated on that if I need to go pick it up or if they'll ship it to us. This truck project is not going to start itself. Daryl is going to be helping me get the box off the back. We're going to have to do a lot of unbolting, a lot of rerouting. Don't worry, we can take care of that. But this is sure to be one of the coolest projects I've ever seen. Let's head over to the workbench, grab the creeper, and start unbolting some of this box truck. With the box now fully unbolted and all of our electrical disconnected, we are going to use our lift. We're going to center the truck over the top of it and lift the box off the chassis. A few moments later. With the box of the truck now successfully removed and relocated, we can get down to the dirty work, which is getting support underneath the frame of the truck to where we could start chopping, dicing, and splicing in to this beautiful truck. Let's get to it. Daryl's going to continue on working with the frame of the truck. Corey, do we have any leads on a used Super Duty bed that we can use as a donor? There is, and we got to go pick it up. Sweet. Give me the address. I'll get the truck. I'll be on my way, and we'll be back en route. Sweet. Thanks, Corey. Keep it up. I need to head down to the shed, which I am also going to be asking Kevin if he can ride along with me. Kevin, would you be able to come and help me pick up this bed? Sweet. The bed we're looking at, from what we were told, a 2017 retired Ford F-350 ambulance long chassis. The bed was placed on the back, but is currently on stilts because they couldn't get the mounts right. But if we can get that bed and it's still in really good condition, this will be a really nice transplant piece so we can save a lot on money instead of having to buy a new bed directly from Ford. Now let's grab Kevin and get on our way to Albrecht Auto. If you found this video entertaining, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. We are on the race to 100,000 public subscribers by the end of this year, and you guys watching is getting this video into the algorithm and really helping out. I really do appreciate it. We are coming up on Albrecht Motors. Let's go take a look at our donor truck, which I believe is said to be in the back. Ah, yes, there it is. Now, I'm not looking at the truck. What would be good is to pull the 6.7 out of this thing, but we don't need the motor. We just need the bed. What's nice is that it is already up on some stilts, but we will need to move this thing around and get it on the trailer if we are going to buy it. Comes with some mud flaps, but they're Ford inspired. We do have my buddies down at Mafia Motto currently working on a custom Isuzu badge that takes the place of this Ford badge in the tailgate. I don't see any major dings or dents on the bed, which really does help for keeping it clean. It was a gooseneck prepped bed, which has helped save us a lot of time. 
I'm going to go do some jibber jabbering with the dealer, and Kevin is going to start working on moving that bed around. I know better than to try and stop that old fart. Yes, sir, we got a deal. Four grand. Thank you. You have a good one, and we'll definitely let you know what this thing's all about. I'm super excited to see the outcome. You'll have to see this thing. $4,000 later, and we have acquired ourselves a truck bed. Sometimes this thing takes a little bit to start. Kevin's giving me the go-ahead that he is ready to go with the bed. Let's get it loaded up and back to the shop. We will have to shift Daryl's priorities, though, to getting this, as he is our lead painter. Kevin over here is our main mechanic. I am the owner and main marketer, and Corey is all of our finances and computer work. Let's get the bed off the trailer, take a peeky-weeky at what our old Izuzu looks like right now, and we can go from there. Taking a look at our fabulous Izuzu. Oh my goodness. Look at that little thing. Look at that. Daryl, you did a fantastic job on that. Look at the, you can't even tell where the welds are. We do have a flat on our front right tire, which is, that's all right. We're gonna be putting on different wheels anyway, but that is awesome. Definitely looks quite a bit different, but the fun is still just beginning. We have our paint booth set up. We're gonna grab our fan, so that way we can keep circulation running. We don't like paint fumes. Turning the fan on, we're gonna set Daryl on this so we can start sanding, priming, and getting this bed ready for paint. That way we can start working on our custom bracket mounts to be able to install on the Isuzu. Kevin and I are gonna shift our attention to the Isuzu by getting the Alcoas we have sitting upstairs that were on order. We do have a hub conversion kit to make sure this is a clean and secure fit. Let's head upstairs, grab the wheels, and we'll see you guys back down at the lift. Got a feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I'll go back where I came from. Where everybody knows my name. My friends are still the same. I guess the slow life hit me just right. Like a bonfire on a cold night. Hell, and you can keep your nine to five. Happy with the simple life. wheels now installed that thing looks fantastic i can't even ma look at that look at how like actually good that looks let's check on daryl with how he is doing on our dually bed it looks like he has the bed already primed he has removed our mud flaps which is a nice thing we are going to be doing the tailgate badge in a little bit. This thing's kind of a pain to get out, but we do have one on order. I think what we need to do now is get the bed on top of the Isuzu frame, back it up, lower it down, and see what we have to do to fasten this thing on. Using the lift, we're going to lower this bed down on top of the frame, make sure we have all of our custom fasteners attached, and then we can move this thing off to paint. not successfully installed and mounted properly we could officially have this thing sent off to paint with daryl to have it be one nice beautiful color my favorite part from motto mafia is the custom made isuzu badge they hooked me up just my buddies at their custom fabrication shop down the road perfect fit and definitely to anybody who's a ford that looks so wrong but i'll be waiting to put on all the custom accessories that the client wanted to have installed so we'll send this thing off to paint and we'll see you all in just a minute Welcome back, everybody. We are checking back in. I've been working with Corey to make sure that we are still staying on time with the project. It has been a hot minute since we've been out in the shop, and I can assure you guys, Daryl did not disappoint. This traffic cone orange Isuzu mini pickup truck is by far one of the coolest things I've ever actually seen. Popping inside, we can see that the visibility of the truck without the box is absolutely immense. Like we got so much more visibility and it really does just complete the look of this truck. I'm gonna move it over to our lift so I can start installing some of our accessories and that should finish out this project. And after finagling with this thing for about another 45 minutes, we have successfully installed all of our accessories. The first and most notable one being the keep on truck and mud flaps. Up in the bed, we also installed a brand new foldable tonneau cover, which is just a fabric easy flip or do one instead of a big lift because you can't really reach up here. 
and a brand new tinted visor. This thing is ready to go. I will see you guys all out in the yard. Let's get some really good shots on this awesome looking truck. everybody our very first official project to be rolling out the lot of bucked up custom if there's anything that i have to say about this project is that it is definitely bucked up all right think about it we basically have made the first cab over pickup you wouldn't think it'd be very versatile but i can guarantee you you are wrong let's pop in the cab and take this thing for a quick little test drive and i'll show you what i mean by its versatility is unmatched First things first, this thing's turn radius is one for the money. If I were to go down into the car wash and try and turn around and make a U-turn, look at how good the turn radius is on this thing. It turns on a dime. You can't get that with a modern day pickup. Come on now, that's already plus number one. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for checking this one out. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. If you do like a lot more bucked up stuff, be sure to let me know down in the comments as we have plentiful ideas and things to be made in this shop. Be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You already know who is in it. I'll see you all in the next one. This is the Rental Man out. Peace.